today in ONS, we're going to have a look at the uh, A and B level questions for the semester one exam. The first thing we've got to do here is convert some numbers to decimal notation, so 6.2, 626,000, plus what we think of as normal numbers. So 6.14 by 10 to the 2, you can think of this two way, we've got to move to decimal place two places, which would be 614, or we can say 6.14 times 10 to the 2 is 100, so 6 times 100 is 600, so it's going to be 614. Either of those approaches get you to the same spot. Same thing here, 10 to the 4 is 10,000, so we're going to think it's going to be uh, 39,400. Or let's see if we move it 1, 2, 3, 4 places, 39,400. Either way we get to the same spot. Now we've got 345, well we can use 1, 2. Decimal scientific notation is always going to be 3.45, so a decimal last of the first number by 10 to the something. Always going to be that format, whether it's decimal places. So here we've got 345. If we move the decimal place 2, it gives us 3.45 by 10 to the 2. Or we can remember that, um, let's get rid of that random 4. Or we can remember that um, uh, 10 to the 2 is 100, so 100 times 3.45 is 345. In this case, we want to get it to 3.5578, so we have to move the decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 3.5578 by 10 to the 4, or we might remember it's in the 10,000s column, which is also 10 to the 4. Bob is watching some YouTube clips. Three hours today. How much is he going to watch tomorrow if he watches 1.5 hours more than he watched today? So that's 3 plus 1.5 equals 4.5 hours of YouTube clips. X hours. In this case, it's going to be X plus 3. Or got that completely wrong. X plus 3 hours. Y hours less. So he watched 3 today minus Y. That can be the way we can that. Okay, so this is the angle we're looking at. We've got a label side opposite. So opposite just means across from. So this is going to be the side across from the angle. The hypotenuse is always the longest side, and the longest side is always across from the right angle. So that's the hypotenuse. And adjacent means next to. So the side next to is going to be this side here. Um, and I might just, I'd write them in full just because that's what the question as hypot and abg. Okay, for this next one, we're just going to be doing some simple calculations. So if we go to, um, if we go here and we just get ourselves a calculator, the first one we've got to look at asks us to calculate sine of 52. So we just make sure our calculator is in degrees mode. We go sine 52, that equals 0.788 or 0.79. So the first one's just going to equal 0.79. Now I've written in the answers here, but let's just check them. Cos of 31. So for this next one, so clear. Cosine, cos, 31 degrees, equals. 0.857, so 0.86, let's just check that that's what we had here. 0.86 is right. And the tangent of, I've forgotten what it was, tangent of 55. So here we go clear again. So we go uh, tan 55 equals 1.43. When we round it to two decimal places, 1.43 is the answer there. Okay, we've got to solve this. Let's see what we can do. Let's get rid of the brackets. So we're going to multiply 4 by x and 4 by 5. So we get 4x plus 20 equals 32. I want to subtract 20 from both sides. So subtract 20 from both. Remember the rule when you look at these things is if we do something to one side, we do it to the other. It might be to subtract, it might be to multiply, it might be to divide. In this case, it's subtract. So 4x plus 20 minus 20 is just going to equal 4x. 32 minus 20 is 12. And now we're going to divide both sides by 4 to find out what x equals. So we've got that x equals 12 divided by 4, which equals 3. Next one. 3x 
minus 3 equals 9. So 3 times x and 3 times minus 3, so it's going to 3x minus 9. Just be careful, like 3 times 3 is 3 times 3 is 9, but there is a positive and a negative, so it's a negative overall equals 9. So let's get all the numbers on one side, so let's add 9 to both, both sides. So 3x minus 9 plus 9 is just 3x equals 9 plus 9, which equals 18. And now we're going to divide both by 3. So 3x divided by 3 is just going to leave with x. 18 divided by 3 is going to give us 6. Okay. For some reason we lost our 6 here. Let's get rid of it here if we can. Okay. Y equals, we've got to draw a graph of y equals minus 3x plus 4. Now to do this, I like to work out. There are different ways of doing this. There's a number of ways of doing this. I like to work out some points. I like to work out point x equals negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So here's our rule. y equals minus 3x plus 4. So now we want to substitute it. So we want to say, okay, I want to take my minus 1 and pop it into that equation there. So 3 times negative 3 times negative 1 is actually a positive. So it's 3 plus 4. So y equals 7 when x equals negative 1. So now we're going to take this next number 0 and pop it in where we see the x. So 3 minus 3 times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. So 1 in where we see the x, minus 3 times 1 is minus 3, plus 4 is 1. And 2, minus 3 times 2 is minus 6, plus 4 is minus 2. So let's just put our axes in. Ask us, to, ask us to draw the axis, label the points clearly. So it's not great, it's not easy to all that easy to write on this, so I apologize. So, so the first point is negative 1, and the y is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. So that's our first point up here, negative 1, 7. Next point is x equals 0, y equals 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's that point here. Always do the x value first. The next is x equals 1. So x equals 1 here. And y equals 1. So it's going to be this point here. And the last point is x equals 2. x equals 2. 2. And y equals negative 2. So it's going to be down here. So that's our, that's our line through here. Line y equals minus 3x plus 4. We can label that y. y equals minus 3x plus 4. And it's what we'd expect. We expect a negative slope and it goes through the y-intercept is at plus 4, which is where it goes through that y-axis. Okay, convert the following to decimal notation. 6.14 6 by 10 to the minus 2. So I'm going to start by saying, okay, it's going to move two places. 1, 2. 0 0.0614. 0 0.0614. 0 .0 the other thing you remember is 6 is in the hundreds column, and that's where we've got it here. Okay, the next one, we're going to move it four places. So let's put some zeros in front here. Move it. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0 0.000394. 0 0.000394. 0 .000 Opposite, opposite way we've got to do, always going to start 2.4 by 10 to the something. We've just got to work out what the something is. In the negative direction, it's going to move 1, 2. Move negative 2 into the negative 2. Same thing here. It's going to be 6.78 by 10 to the... We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 to the negative 6. Okay. A couple more we've got to expand and simplify. So x times x, if we remember this, we can do the first ones, then we can do the outside, then the inside, then the last of each pair. So that's going to equal, the first ones are going to be x, x times x, which is x squared, x times 3, which is 3x, minus 5 times x is minus 5x, minus 5 times 3 is minus 15. And now we can put together our x's, so plus 3x minus 5x is going to be minus 2x, 
x squared minus 2x minus 15. And that's what we can do there. Next one's going to be a little bit more interesting because we've got some x's and y's. So remember our rule, the first part and then the second part. The first part and the second part. And just tricky, we've got a minus y in here. So let's get going. 5y times x is going to be 5yx plus 5 times 5 is 25 times y is 25. Now you get the second part. Minus y times x is going to be minus yx. Minus y times, I can't quite see what number of it, I think it's 3. Let's just see if I can get there. Yep. So the last thing is minus, minus y times 3 is minus 3y. Now we can simplify it because we've got 5 times yx minus yx, that's going to be 4yx. Remember, when we, whenever we've got just a yx, it's a minus 1yx. We've got 25y minus 3y is going to equal 22y. So that's our answer there. Okay, we've got some values we can do here. Now let's just go through our rules. Sine of an angle equals opposite over adjacent. Cos of an angle. Sorry, sine of angle is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos of an angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan of an angle opposite over adjacent. And you'll be given those formulas in the exam. So let's have a look at the first one. We've got the side 50. This is the side opposite over here. And this is the hypotenuse. It's across from the right angle. It's the line Angle. So if you've got opposite and hypotenuse, we're looking at sine. So the sine of an angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Let's substitute in everything we know. So we know it's the sine of 50. We know that the opposite is x, that's what we're looking for, divided by 20. So let's calculate a few things here back at our calculator. We've got the I think it was the sine of 50. I'll just double check when we go back. 0.77. So 0.77 equals x divided by 20. We want to find what x is. So if we multiply both sides by 20, we've got the 20 times 0.77. So 20 times 0.77. 15.4. Just ch always then check your units, but there's no units given here. Oh, it is. It's meters. 15.4 meters equals x. That's our answer here. Let's have a look at this next one here. Let's get rid of these couple of scribbles. We've already got. We've got our rules. So we're looking at this angle. This is the side adjacent. This is the side that's opposite the right angle, so it's the hypotenuse. So the cos of an angle adjacent over hypotenuse. We've got the cos, and we don't know the angle, it's x. So the cos of x equals 10 divided by 20. Equals 10 divided by 20 is 0 0.5. So now we've got to go to a calculator. And this time, instead of finding the cos, we're finding the inverse cos. Cos to the negative 1. Inverse cos 0.5, and that gives us 60. So x equals 60 degrees. Do I check that I have that in? Yeah, I have that in degrees. Now. And I'm just going to do these last three questions, last two questions on the next 